Good morning, Latip. It's a pleasure to be here and give you an appetizer about bank code. So this is me when I was growing up. It looks like Lucy Van Pelt, I know that. But um, when I was growing up, my brothers called me Little Lucy. So it was easier for me to just grab a picture of Lucy as a symbol of who I was as a fuss budget than to go up into the attic and dig through boxes of photos that I haven't looked at for 20 years. So Lucy also inspired me. Okay, wait a minute. Is it on? I can do it this way. Okay. So. Ah, there I am. Okay. So, um, Lucy inspired me when I was in my mid-30s. I went and got a doctorate in psychology. And so, there I was. The doctor is in. And when I retired, I was introduced to healthy chocolate. Now, that sounds like an oxymoron, right? But it really was healthy because the chocolate was cold processed, so it was high antioxidant. And that, this is a picture of me with two of my associates. Deanne is on the right, Dr. Carla's in the middle. And we wrote a book about chocolate, your amazing itty bitty chocolate book. It's available on Amazon. It was an Amazon bestseller. But like many network marketing people, professionals, I made maybe $500, maybe $1,000 a year. It was not a very successful career. So I was trying to find out how to make more money at it. And I went to a boot camp marketing seminar where I heard Sherry Tree, who developed the bank code method, talk. And I was in right away. Now, many, some of you have been in the tip for longer than I have, and you may have heard about bank code in 2015, because at that time, Kim Marie Branch was talking about introducing it to the LATIP community, and several people were coded. But what I loved about this system is having known a lot of different personality profilers, this one you could get someone's personality in two minutes or less. Plus, there was all kinds of education, virtual education, live education, to learn how to talk to each of the personality types. So, oops, wait a minute, I'm sorry. I, okay, so there, mm, there we are. So, um, there are four personality types, and this system is based not on personality traits, but values, because it's values that give people, that are what people use to make buying decisions, or decisions about anything in life, not just buying. So we have the blueprints. <clears throat> of the people who took the survey that I, and cracked their codes, there were three blueprints. So 15% of the LATIP members are blueprints. And these are people who like to plan, they like systems, they like processes, they have budgets. We call them the people who live inside the box. And they're usually very formally dressed. And when you meet them, they'll shake your hand. Now, I want to give you a short story about why it's really important to know someone's personality code. Sherry, when she was in her mid-twenties, was working as a financial planner, and she had a proposal for someone, and he said, okay, but I want to do my due diligence, and she said, fine. Two weeks later, he called her, and he said, I'm ready to sign. They agreed to meet at a restaurant, and she arrived. She was about 10 minutes late. He was sitting down. She came and sat down, and she reached into her briefcase to pull out the proposal, and he said, Sherry, wait a minute. I want you to know I no longer want to do business with you. She was shocked. He said, you disrespected my time. You were late, and you didn't tell me. If this is the way you treat me before you have my money, 
Imagine how you're going to treat me after you have my money. She blew the deal simply by being an A, because A people don't pay attention very much to um, time. But she not only lost his business, but she lost all of his referrals. So this is one of the example of why if you know your person's, your contacts, your clients, your prospects, personality type, it really will help increase your revenues. So blueprint people, if you're meeting with them, you need to have everything in order. You need to have it clearly spelled out. So the next person is the action person. These are the people who are shakers, movers, makers, millionaire makers, and we call them the people out of the box. They like excitement, they like stimulation, they're competitive, they want to win, they take risks. When they greet you, it's usually a high five. And with an action person, you don't want to give them a lot of detail. They're just interested in the bottom line. So that's another reason to know who you're talking to. The third group is the nurturer. These are your warm, happy people. They believe there's possible to have peace in the world. They, we call them the people who recycle the box and they are much more interested in relationships than in earning money, which is unfortunate because a lot of them go into helping professions, but they don't make as much money as they could. These are the people who greet you with a hug. And if you're doing business or meeting a relationship person, a nurturer, you need to spend a lot of time just letting them get to know you because they will not do business with anyone they don't feel they have a relationship with. And then we have your, nurture, your knowledge people. We call these the people who invent the box. They are your really, they're bright, they, they are like innovation, they like technology. They're the people who take forever to make a decision. So if you're working with a, oh, and when they greet you, they'll just probably hand you a business card. They don't like to touch. They're not huggy, touchy, feeling people. So when you, when you are working with a knowledge person, expect a lot of questions and be prepared to answer them. And if you don't know the answers, then be sure to tell them, I'll find out and do that. So <clears throat> in July, I was in Vegas, and um, Kim Marie Branch was there, and she went through the same training that I went through. And I talked to her last week after our meeting, and she said that it's really important for everyone to know who they're talking to. And she, and I'm going to support her, is going to do a breakout session on um, bank code in October at the Le Tip conference in the Atlantic City. So I'm going to real quickly go through a couple of slides for people who have increased their revenues <coughs> by using this system. And what I'm really excited about is we're coming out this month with an artificial intelligence module, but if you want to know about that, because I'm out of time, you're going to have to come to my seminar on the 22nd. And if you want to know about Robert and his son Levi, because we have found in addition to increasing sales, this improves family relationships, it improves business relationships, personal relationships. So on your the table, are uh, cards like this with the link on it to register for my seminar on August 22nd. You'll have a great time, and thank you very much. Thank you. I'm sorry. Uh, did, you, did you say that you're going to Atlantic City to give a talk for the time? Um. Kim, Kim Marie is going to do a breakout session on bank code, and I talked to her, and I'm probably going to go and do it with her. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you so much.